Hello and welcome to windowsupport.com, I'm Henrik Fye. Every operating system has some sort of problem, and the same goes for Windows 10. Speaking of which, few Windows 10 users have been experienced proxy issues. According to users, they're getting Windows could not automatically detect network's proxy settings error message. And if you're having a similar problem, do have a look at this video and try these methods for yourself. So how do you deal with a proxy issue on Windows 10? First of all, check your proxy server settings. All you have to do is once you're on the home screen, press Windows plus the R key. Then type in int or init cpl.cpl and hit enter or press the OK button. Then go up to connections. Go down to LAN settings and then check if it's just like this. So everything is set to automatically detect settings. The second method is to reset your TCIP. All you have to do is go on the port knob on the bottom left, type in CMD, right click on it, and run it as an administrator, and then press yes. Once you're in here, all you have to do is type in netch int ip reset reset log dot text, and then hit enter. Once you've done that, you can close out of this as well. The third method is to uninstall your antivirus software. Using a computer without an antivirus is not the best idea, but fortunately for you, Windows 10 comes with a Windows Defender that will protect you when you remove antivirus software. If after removing your antivirus software, check if the issue, issue is resolved. If the issue is resolved, be sure to download and install different antivirus softwares. The fourth method is to use System Restore. If you're getting Windows could not automatically detect the network settings, the proxy settings error message, frequently you might be able to fix this by performing a system restore. So according to users, this issue can occur after installing new applications or after modifying your network configuration. To fix this problem, you need to do the following. On the bottom left, type in, type in system restore. Then click on create a restore point. And now the system properties windows will appear. Then click on the system restore button. Press on next. And then you can select one of the following restore points. For me, this one was last night or this night at 9 or 0 a.m. Then all you have to do is press next and just follow the on screen notifications. After completing the rest restoration, the error message should be resolved and everything will start working again. Many users reported that this issue or this solution fixed the problem for them, so be sure to try it out. If the issue still persists, then make sure to read the full guide down in the description below on our website. And make sure to subscribe for future updates. We'll see you next time.